Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we are going to see one common problem that happens with virtual box in every Windows host. So let's see, you can see this is the Ubuntu we have installed yesterday. And right now, I am going to log in to my Ubuntu system. So I am going to enter my password. And hit enter. Now you can see I am here in my Ubuntu system. But when I try to maximize my Ubuntu system, you can see I can only see this specific part on uh, in which I can see my Ubuntu and other part is grayed out, right? So it's resolution issue and not showing full screen issue. So let's see how we can fix this issue today. In the bottom corner, you can see on desktop icon virtual screens you can see there are multiple options of virtual screen but there are quite a few are accessible and you can see above this available 100 percent you can you can't access any other options and that's why you are not able to resize your ubuntu virtual machine window to full size in virtual box so today we are going to fix this issue for that, first I am going to shut down my system. I'm going to power and power off. Okay, now go on to your virtual machine and uh, go on the settings. Okay, now go on the settings and you can see in display you have the options, right? In settings, go on to the display and here in screen, you need to maximize this memory and it should be 128 MB. So I have already changed it to 128 MB. So that's why it's a grayed out. If you haven't, you can change it to 128 MB and that should be maximum. Okay. And after this, changing the setting, hit on OK. And let's go and restart your Ubuntu virtual machine. Now I can you can see I am able to access the virtual machine. So I here I am going to click on the devices and insert guest edition CD image. So just hit on this option. It is going to restart your Ubuntu virtual machine or you can start Ubuntu virtual machine by yourself. So I am going to start virtual machine again. You can see machine is started. And it will give you the option. So enter your password and login. Okay. Now here on the right hand side in the sidebar, you can see one disk icon is there and this is vbox guest edition right so just click on that uh, cd image and now you can see there are lots of files associated with that guest edition cd image that we have already set up on our device so now you can see there is a one file that is virtual box launch edition dot run and you need to run this file to maximize your screen there are multiple options to run it. You can run it via graphical user interface or you can do it with the help of command line as well. So I am going to prefer the command line and for opening command line use Control Alt T. So this is the command line. I am going to change the font so that you can see the command line properly. Okay. So first thing you can see we need to list all the disks in our virtual machine so for that find mnt use this command it will list all the mounted disks on your virtual machine and you can see in the bottom you can see media your username and virtual box gas 7.0 it's there so this is guest edition 7.0 cd rom image okay so i need to navigate to that image
okay so i have navigated to this folder or this specific cd rom or uh, mounted disk and if i list you can see all the files all the files here are available in the cd image you can see here okay now we need to run this virtual box edit guest edition dot run file okay for running this file sudo permissions so for running this sudo and uh, we need to run this file right so i'm copying this and paste it you can run in this way i will provide my password okay it shows this command not found okay now uh, let's go to the base or you can say root directory and then we will run this okay let's go to the root directory and then run this so cd dot dot with the help of cd dot dot you can go in parent folder right so now you can see i am on my root directory so here i am going to type sudo slash media slash my username slash virtual box and slash the file name that is virtual box linux edition i will copy the file name and i will paste it here and hit enter so now i have already provided the password so now this time it won't ask me for password and you can see it's installing additional modules my screen is in full screen mode but still let it finish okay now you can see my screen is full screen mode but still it has some it needs to install some uh, packages right your system is currently not set up to date uh, build kernel module so we need to install these modules that is gcc mk uh, make and pull right these packages need to be installed so i am going to install these packages so before installing the package i am going to update all the packages in my system so for that sudo apt update you can see it is getting updated okay now it's updated successfully so let's install the packages we need so sudo apt install the packages are gcc perl make and i am going to install build essential as well so build hyphen essentials and hit enter so now you can see all three packages installed and build essentials is failed okay i got the point it's not build essentials it build essential okay okay so uh, let's uh, reboot our system once so for uh, rebooting our system you can use the command reboot okay sudo reboot and hit enter so your system is going to reboot and still you can see we have some issues it's not on our full screen right so i am going to log into my system 
for that let's enter the password hit enter and we are here now if i go to the monitor tab in the bottom and uh, screen sizes now you can see you can access the screen sizes and as soon as i click on the screen size it is getting maximized so in this way you can fix the problem so this is all for this video if you think this content is helpful for you then don't forget to share subscribe and like this video so that it will help others we will see you in the next video till then happy coding